when it comes to watching streaming services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Videos etc, then we get two options. You can either plug in the pocket friendly media streaming devices on your standard TV or you can get a smart TV which has this application natively. Before we get started, nope, not the bell icon. Instead, let's understand the difference between a smart TV and a streaming device. Consider a smart TV as a regular TV but with a built-in Wi-Fi and an OS with which it can run popular applications like Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube etc. You can even browse web using the built-in web browser. Streaming devices on the other hand are like small dongles with a built-in Wi-Fi which you can plug it in in the HDMI port of regular TV. I know the difference is hard to tell which is why you need to consider the pros and cons of both like speed, performance, portability and not to forget price. So let's find out whether you should gift yourself a smart TV or stick with your dumb TV and use a streaming device with it. Let's find out. The first time I turned on the LG smart TV, well, it was painfully slow. You will have to wait about 30 seconds before any smart TV functions start. Smart TV requires computer chip to juggle between video processing, upscaling, multiple scenes and the internet connection. So can a smart TV crash or hang like a PC? Definitely. And they do. I mean, check out this. Say if I'm watching Netflix and decide to open the app store, the screen will turn black for a good 10 seconds. You can't even tell if the TV is on or not. But that's just one app. What if I try to open Amazon Prime? Well, there you go. This time it takes more than 10 seconds. A media streaming device, on the other hand, comes with a dedicated processor and RAM. And as you can see, they switch between applications pretty quickly. So far, I have tried Chromecast, Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV. And all of them run way smoother than LG Smart TV. Also, since they come with your own dedicated processor, you can enjoy some really high-end games on Fire Stick and Apple TV. Obviously, they are not as good as PS4 or Xbox, but it's still close. On the other hand, if you buy a budget smart TV, you lose out the gaming options. Overall, in our experience, when it comes to multitasking and gaming, the media streaming devices outperform smart TV. Another thing to consider is that if you buy a smart TV from let's say LG or Sony, then you will be restricted to their app stores. For instance, the web OS running on this LG Smart TV doesn't have the Hulu app in India. Obviously, Hulu doesn't work in India, but what if I want to watch it with a VPN? Well, you can't. And for all those who are thinking about using a web browser, well, you can't rely on that as well, as the native web browser is too old to play any HTML5 content. Most media streaming devices also have their own app store, but it offers wide range of content. For instance, you can find most of the streaming services in Firestick and Apple TV. But just in case an app is unavailable in a particular streaming device, like in case of Roku which doesn't have the Hulu app in the Indian app store, I can easily change my country by changing the DNS server and it will work fine. My point being, if you get a smart TV, then you will be restricted to their small ecosystem and there is not much you can do to sideload APK. However, if you get a streaming devices, then it already have a wider range of content and even if that doesn't work, then you always have the option to sideload the APK from using the hacks available online. For the sake of comparison, let's take the two most popular TVs on Amazon. A regular 32-inch TCL TV is around 12.5k in India, while LG Smart TV will cost you back 24,000, almost double with a difference of 12,000 INR. For this money, one can easily get one Chromecast, one Roku, one Fire Stick with your regular TCL TV or just one Apple TV which I will highly recommend. This one is a no-brainer. I often use my Apple TV and Fire Stick between home and office. And it's pretty easy to carry. You just plug them out of your TV and put it in your bag. Even when you're going for a vacation, you can take it with you and watch it on the hotel TV. Since they also have games, it can keep the kids busy for a while. However, if you get a smart TV, it's there to stay. It obviously is difficult to move a 32-inch television round the corner, let alone airplanes. Then there are other advantages of getting a streaming device, like timely update and intuitive interface. For instance, typing is so much easy on Fire Stick and Apple TV as they come with a slider remote control and a voice search, while typing on a smart TV is a nightmare. Although thankfully, it does pair up with your smartphone, so at least there is that. 
But Mrinal, there has to be some reason why people are buying smart TV. Maybe the people who are buying smart TVs are the ones who haven't used streaming devices so far. That's the only angle I can think of. In a nutshell, I won't recommend getting a smart TV anytime soon. Instead, get a best TV that you can afford for its size and display, and not for the software it runs. Obviously, if you buy a 4K TV with a major brand, chances are it will be a smart TV, and that's okay, as long as it comes as an added feature. But my point is, don't buy a smart TV because it's smart, because it's not. Smart TVs will still take some time to mature. Until then, use the streaming devices with the regular TV. They offer good value for money. That's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you going to buy a smart TV or use one of the media streaming devices with your regular TV? Like always, it's been our signing off. I will see you in the next one.